Hey guys, and welcome back to Spyro. In the last episode, we finally managed to get to the Dream... This isn't the Dream Weavers, this is the Magic Crafters. And this is where the games start getting a little bit more tricky. So, let's go, shall we? This is also, uh, if you haven't already noticed, an absolutely gorgeous level. Now, this is where the Norks start using a little bit of magic. And there uh, you start seeing their trickery. Right, this guy. Oh, you lucky bastard. Yeah, this guy's a dick penis man. But he shall get his just desserts soon. Don't you worry about that. Okay, so there's actually an achievement to get here. We need to get all of these guys in a row. Which I think we should... Oh, we flunked it up. Yeah, there's an achievement there in one swipe. Uh, we'll come back and give that another go in a minute. Yeah, one row. You've got to get them all. And listen to that music on this level. It's so good. That's actually not a hard achievement to get. I do remember getting the trophy of that on the PlayStation. And it's not bad. Cosmos. But it can take a few attempts to get right. Welcome to Magic Crafter. Thank you, Cosmos. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. Is that all? I'm sure we can achieve such lofty goals. Oh, dick. Do you see that? I had it because putty in my hands. Penis. Absolute penis. Right, let's go back. Guy genuinely is not too bad, but you just gotta get the angle right. Now, if you wait till a little bit further on in the level, there is a better opportunity. I don't know why the flame didn't activate there. There is a better opportunity to get him where you can actually chase him all the way around, but you know, you don't need to do it. Okay, there definitely seems to be a bit of a input lag there with using the flame. Ah, I think it's... Yeah, it's... To, oh, right. Okay, yeah, it's to do with the running animation. Alright. Maybe in this version of the game, we might actually have to uh, get him a little bit later on. But I'm sure we don't have to. I'm sure we can get the little bastard here. Sure we can. Let's give it a good go, shall we? Yeah, we're definitely not going to flame this guy. Right, we'll come back to him then. Interesting. You can catch him down here, I think. That's really weird, you know? The swarm that we could handle him. Now, these wizards, you've got to watch out for these wizards. Because they do stuff like that. And they're naughty little sods. But that's okay. We can flame them. Liberal uses of fire is how ooh, we solve most of our problems in the land of dragons. Now, I don't think we can go up this way. No. Oh, yeah, we can. We actually... <laughs> we, uh, we're we faster than his magic, apparently. You're not meant to be able to go up around that way. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so let's continue around. Oh, God. You. I'm not having any of your nonsense. No way. Ah. Got some sheep here. Might as well flame the sheep. Now this guy is a bit of a nutsack because if you start getting close to him, what he will do is he will switch his direction like that, you see? So this guy is actually fairly smart. Let's just say he's smarter than any NPC in Cyberpunk. And that's being generous. There we go. We got him. I still can't believe the AI in Cyberpunk. I'm going to be ragging on that game forever. Ooh, we've got double tapped. Uh, and we've eaten all the sheep. At least we've eaten all the sheep here, so that's fine. Um, oh, hello. Maybe we haven't. Where do you spawn from, sir? Nice. There's actually an achievement involving sheep. Somewhere? Sheep kebab. Oh, that's, oh, that's Stonehill. Alright, we do have to try and clear up some of these achievements later on if we can. Now, there was another sheep somewhere. Where was he? I wish we saw him. Or am I coming down with a touch of retardation? Possibly. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We'll find more sheep later on, anyway. 
So here we have one of the infamous boost pads, which on paper are a hell of a lot of fun. In practice, ugh, they are tricky. A Zantor. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent. Go it is ahead. excellent. Try it. Yeah, supercharge is wicked. Uh, it's wicked in theory. In practice, it's fairly tricky. Yeah, and I thought the secret was there. All right, up, oh, on Spyro, we have treasure to find. Uh, there's a secret cave around here. Although we shouldn't have come here just yet because we need to get the key. Uh, no matter, we can get the key fairly soon. Let's go find that. I believe it's hidden over here somewhere. More of these armored goons. Ah, yes. Let's go make use of the supercharge. Ready, Spyro? Let's ride. Boom. See you later, Gandalf. Now, get you done. I'm pretty sure we need to make use of that supercharge for something on the other side as well, which is a bit of a pain. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. Was that right? I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> Thanks, Spyro. Thanks for cutting them off there. That would have been intolerable. Yeah, this chest here, we actually do need that supercharge to bust. And getting down here is a little bit tricky, because when you're in the supercharge mode, you do lose most of your uh, maneuverability. So, And if you hit anything in the scenery, you do lose oh, that momentum, and I cannot believe it. <laughs> we literally, are you serious? I actually did it, and we missed the fucking chest. Spyro, Spyro, you are a specialist, a special Burke. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's go. All right, if we can do that a little bit less failure this time. There we go. Oh, that was a nice 25 gem as well. Beautiful. Uh, Wizard's Peak. That was a fun level. But we won't be going there just yet. Another 25 gems. How many have we got? 300. Okay. We're getting there. Now, the key for this level was hidden behind here. This actually took me a little while to find as a kid. Not a huge amount of time. Uh, the cave containing the chest took me significantly longer to find than the, uh, ooh, hey friends, than the actual key did itself. Yes, it's, uh, it's kind of bizarre thinking that, you know, I grew up in a time without YouTube where you just, you couldn't, if you were stuck on a game, you couldn't just look it up. You know, you had to play and play and play and play. And although it was frustrating, there was something pretty cool about those times. I think now guides and things like that are so easy to look up. You, you kind of, you, you just don't have the patience that you used to have. It's so much easy, more well, so much more efficient to just look something up when you're stuck than to spend hours walking around and trying to figure it out for yourself. And uh, you know that it's kind of unfortunate turn of events, but I'm very, very, very guilty of that. I must admit. Okay, let's pop the chest. Hopefully, this is the last load of gems that we need yep nice so there we go level 100% complete apart from the egg yeah actually thinking about it in that case maybe there is no other way around getting him maybe we just have to try and be quick here and flame his ass yeah maybe that is maybe I'm sure we could I'm sure there was a way though. But hey, I guess not. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, I wonder. I have a headache with pictures. I'm going to try something that I've never tried before. I wonder. See if we can think outside the box for a second. Lel. Yes, you weren't expecting that, were you, you bastard? I've never done that before. 
I've always flamed him. <laughs> that was cool though, that worked. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning. Anyway, it's Alpine Ridge, let's go. Damn, we've only got three, uh, 3,300 treasure. That's pathetic. And while Spyro is enjoying his flight, I can enjoy my coffee, which is most excellent. Really nice to actually bust out the uh, Xbox One X and get some use out of it for once. It's been gathering dust for quite a while. And that's just, you know, the nature of having so many consoles. You know, I barely have time to play anything these days let alone playing uh, multiple systems at once. Right, Alpine Ridge. So we don't have any skill points to get on this level. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, get out of here. Now, I like these big bear guys. They kind of act like the dogs. Look at this dick. That's some fancy magic you've got there, my friend, but it doesn't beat the flame. Flame beats all. Because, you know, fire is just one of those wonderful things. Some dragons just want to watch the world burn. And that's okay. So, 500 treasure, four dragons, and one egg to find. Oof. You dick. Right, you're fucked now, mate. Eh, 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 eh. Nice. I love these. You know, I kind of... I very... Mm, slightly prefer the original PlayStation design of those chests. They had fans on the top to keep them cool, whereas they just have like spinny tops in this one. They don't really make a whole lot of sense, but at the end of the day, we're playing a dragon, free and crystallized dragons from enemies made out of gems, so maybe we shouldn't be talking about sense too much. Hey, Zane! Nope. Of course not. Oh, good. I didn't think so. Hell no. We're here to destroy. We're here to maim, and we're here to burn char bones. That's exactly what we intend to do. Now, hello, sir. Yeah, you know, it's always interesting that these big enemies look like they should take multiple attacks to put down, but they really don't. They're just, you know, same old thing. Ooh, ice. Damn, fire and ice, guys. Ow. Jesus. He really did get, do a number on us, though. Oof. I left reeling from that one. We got any more sheep over here? I don't think so. Ooh, good thing I came back from that. Yeah, looks like we've tapped the sheep out, but there are some more. All right, wizards. Build me a path to your undoing. Oh, that was actually quite a tight timing on that. No matter. Okay. Oh, I see you, and you have a delicious succulent sheep, too. Excellent. Come on, then, you ugly bastard. Get bucked. All right, Sparks. How are you feeling, buddy? Feeling a bit better? Good, good, good. Ah, the old uh, fly through the tight gap I see well we're not exactly an expert flyer yet but uh, we can make do I don't know if we can actually fly properly in Spyro 2 whether that's something that we can actually unlock but I'm kind of looking forward to finding out oh nice got another sheep excellent and you know what it's definitely it definitely plays a lot nicer on the uh, Xbox One X as opposed to the Switch. You know, you expect as such. It's a bit unfair, you know, uh, comparing a little tablet. Hey, Eldred. You for me. <laughs> You're a character. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome. There we go. Nice amount of gems there. Dude, you were, like, almost walking off the path there. One thing I like about this game is just how like big and chunky everything is. Everything looks so substantial, you know, and everything's textured well. It's just the detail in this game is out of this freaking world. Alright, how are we looking? 
We're looking pretty damn good. Cool. So let's uh, we'll leave that sheep for now. I'm not sure that these guys actually respawn. Hey, you thought I forgot about you, didn't you? I think not. Pathetic. Come back when you're ready, nasty norks. Xander. Haven't we already saved a Xander? Great work, Spyro. If you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafters world. Sounds good. He's got like crystal magic wings. Oof. Is he into some dark arts? What the hell's going on with that? Eh, it's cool neither uh either way, I guess. Um now we can go through here, I believe. Yeah, and this takes us, I believe, to where No, I thought the uh egg thief was down here. He's not. He's over the other side. But we do have a nice little explosive package for us. Excellent. Uh, what are we on? Oh, there's a... Can you even see that? Sly little bastards. We're almost on 40 lives. Which uh, I would like to say is a... I think it is actually a record for me. But that's because we discovered the critters just paying out crazy amounts of lives. Which was really nice. Ah, yes. There you are. Damn it. Didn't want to go for you, Kelvin. I wanted to get the egg first. Have stolen eggs outside the magic crafters world as well. Really? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. Really? That's your your pearl of wisdom for us, Kelvin? Really? Um can we hang on. Yeah, we can. It's a stretch, but we can. This bit I always find a little bit dodgy. Yeah, because if you get caught in the explosion, oof, it's death. Pops of the tops. Okay, detonate the three explosive ch chests on the pillar. Nice. Didn't realize there was an achievement. Well, I did. I just forgot about it, I guess. Uh, oh, no. I make their back. Uh, man, I hate these things. Ooh. That gem is just teetering on the edge there. Oh, the camera angle fucked me over there. I tell you what, guys, I hate, and I mean I hate, this bit with with extreme prejudice. Right, let's get the egg thief. And then we'll come back for those. Although, there he is, he's up there, I think. Yeah, we saw his ass. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, never a fan. Never a fan of these bloody fireworks. Right, come here, you. You're fucked. I'm going to take my anger out on you, mate. Though he's, he's moving with the quickness. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Almost had flames up your fucking loincloth, mate. Alright, come on. Come on, Spyro. Come on. Let's show them what we dragons are made of. Yes, got ya. Alright. So, we've actually got, like, over half the eggs now. And, luckily, because we collected that piece of treasure... Ugh. Oh, These are done. Nice. What are we on? What are we on? Ooh, and of course, we have missed treasure because of course we have. Bugger. Okay, let's just have a quick run around here. Make sure we haven't missed anything because it's very easy to miss treasure when you're chasing after egg thieves. It does happen from time to time, but... I don't think it's around here that we would have missed it. No. Okay. Alright, well, guess we'll get... Oh, nice. Very nice. I don't mind if I do. I wouldn't be surprised if the gem's around here somewhere. What about you? 
Are we going to be lucky with you? Nope. I guess not. Ass. Doesn't look like there's any gems around here. I'm hoping it's not bugged again like it bugged earlier. Because I spent a heck of a lot of time running around and redoing the level just to find uh, that it adds actually bugged out, which was bullshit. But it is what it is, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't actually a, a bad bug per se. It's just a frustrating one. Okay, cool. So there's nothing there. And this leads us back around to the start of the level. All right. It's going to be like that, is it? God damn it. Keep your eyes peeled. You keep your eyes peeled, Sparks. These things could be anywhere, Mulatto. Absolutely anywhere. You know, I really do want this game on the PC. I bet it feels... Ooh. No, I thought I, saw, I thought I could saw. I thought I could see something glinting over... Ah, look. Wait a minute. We really miss a chest? I mean, the answer to that is quite obviously yes. Yes, we did. But, uh, hmm, okay. Hmm, interesting. Right, anyway, well, that's... The, oof, fuck me, that was close. So that's this one done. Let's get out of here. Done and done. Spyro, you are seriously kicking some extreme ass right here. Right now. No prisoners. Let's get out of here. Time to return home. Nice. 38,000 treasure in the bag. That leaves us uh, just under 10,000 left. Right. So, okay. Alpine Ridge is done. Ah, oh, you bastard. Get fucked. Ah, we can have another go at this now. Uh, doesn't matter if we get hit. Yeah, right. Really? You can just, you can just do that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. I mean, sure. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Hey, another achievement down. At this rate. Yeah, maybe that's a lot easier to get through that guy's uh, defences than I thought it was. You can come in, you little fucking dickhead. Oi. Oh, God. Sheep. What did you learn? Didn't get in the way of a dragon. <sighs> oh, God. There we go. Kiss my ass. Right, Alpine Ridge is done. What's next? Let's go up here. High caves. High caves, this level is... This level can be tricky because... Well, I think we have to use a couple of super jumps here. So I'm going to expect to lose a serious amount of lives. Because uh, <laughs> I'm kind of shit at the super jumps. You know, even as a kid, you know, they just never clicked with me. I've played this game so many times. And the actuation point for the actual jump, I just never got it. And I know it's me, not the game, because I've seen people that can pull it off with, like, pinpoint accuracy. Alright. So, the thing about this level is it's very open. See, we have these bastards here, and they are invincible. Oh yes, but this level does teach us a brand new mechanic. And I like the fact that we have the fire and ice wizards fighting here. Or the fire and wind, or ice and wind I should say. I'm a bit of a magic jewel, which is cool. Now these wind wizards are a little bit of a pain. Because uh, they can do that. Curl their shots around corners. And if you're not expecting it, it can be a little bit savage. Nice. Now, I think there's an achievement here. I think. Cyrus. Yeah, so having way too much fun. Because they're having fun, they need to die. 
We're already 41% through this, so skill points, high caves, burn hidden painting. That's is something that we need to do. Oh, thanks, bud. Um, that is something that we need to do. But, high caves, defeat, well, yeah, we can do that. Wizard's Peak. Ah, defeat the hidden egg thief. Yes, I forgot about that. Okay, so gather a blowhard. There is something somewhere where we have to ride. Oh, that's blowhard. Ride a druid platform for 10 seconds. Right, okay. I thought that was here for some reason. No matter. Let's go. Get out of here, sir. All right, let's wait for him to come back. You don't know who you're messing with, mate. Oh, God, maybe you do. Mistakes were made. Shit. <laughs> a little bit of uh, overconfidence there, Spyro. Just a bit. Reigniting. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, I guess all the enemies are back, but it doesn't matter. Come on. There we go. Just. Let's aim for this guy. There we are. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Let's grab up some goods. Now, the painting that we have to burn, uh, this I actually did have to look up because I couldn't find it. There's one painting on this level, and it's there. It's actually quite hard to burn it as well. You really do have to... There we go. You really do have to get that jump pinpoint accurate. Now... This is a level that looks like there's a lot of pitfalls and a lot of places to die, but luckily we have these Tinkerbell. And because we have those, if ever we fall off the edge, they will pick us up and take us back to safety. So you can experiment as much as you like here. Okay. Now we're not going to use the super jump just yet. Ajax, welcome back, buddy. Until then, remember that supercharge makes you invincible. It does, yes, but there's an easier way than using the supercharge. Although I think we have to use the supercharge to get rid of some of them. Right, let's grab up those gems. Yeah, those bugs are a pain in the ass. But don't worry, we'll squash them soon enough. Plenty of sheep around here. Ooh. Missed him. There we go. Sweet. Now, ooh, fireworks are plenty. Like the 4th of July in here. Nice. Gather all this shit up. Lovely. The gems in this game as well, they look so freaking good, man. Now, this is a little bit of a pain to do. If I say so myself. Uh, right, that's that place emptied. Wow, I'm so stupid. You know, I always used to try and get there using the super jump. My god. I can't believe that. I mean, I can. It's me. You know, you, 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 you guys should know not to expect too much from my skills. Okay. Now, this guy sucks. We'll get him, don't worry, but he does like to run you around the houses. Ah, oh, bullshit. I'm calling hacks on that. This guy's got uh, some kind of uh, aimbot going on. Alright, come on. The best time to get him is when he falls down like that. There we go. Just like that. Right, you little cockshiner. You're done. Now, let's just have a quick loop around to make sure that there are no goodies that we're missing. I'm actually almost out of time here, but it's fine. We've started, so we're finished. Be rude to cut this off halfway through, wouldn't it? And I don't want to cut levels off halfway through, because then you forget where you are and what treasure you've got and all that shit. Okay, 
Yeah, I... Oh, guys, I, I'm going to show you how I used to think you had to get to that area. This is what I used to do, right? Uh, I used to try and run on the super jump, get up here, and jump over. And it always worked for this one, but I could never get in there. Oh, uh, well, I could, but it took some serious effort. I never once thought we could just, you know, stand on the bridge and glide in. Ugh. Man, I'm stupid. Okay, anyway, let's go. So, super jump. This will take us into this area. You know, maybe I'm just using these super jumps uh, in a way that they weren't meant to be used. Maybe that's where the difficulty's coming from. It's an absolute possibility. And I've just been, you know, missing the whole point all these years, which is complete certainty I'm starting to think what a specialist I am sometimes right cool okay not bad so there's the portal to return home but we're not done yet oh no Cedric welcome back buddy ooh what potions have you got there your supercharge with jumping and gliding and really explore the high caves. Well, um, yeah. Thanks, Cedric. You're a good, you're, you're, you're a pal, Cedric. Thank you. Never would have thought of doing that. Okay. Oop. Right. So now we need to try and like launch our asses over here. This, this is a little bit more of a delicate jump. But we shall endeavour to get it done. There we go. I mean, you know, maybe not. Maybe it was an easy jump. I don't know. Okay. Now this little cockshiner. Mm, this one is a little bit of a pain in the ass, to say the least. Never been a fan of this guy. Damn it. Oof. You dick. Right. Not sure the best way to handle this guy, actually. And we're almost dead, which is not great. Uh, so, what we like treasure wise? We're not bad. Okay. Now, the best. Oof. If we even move, he's gonna. There we go. Got ya. Get fucked. Now, is there a sheep? There is a sheep down here. I thought there was. Okay, so where are we? Alright, fairies. Give us a lift, please. I thank you. I thank you. So we've still got the metal guys to deal with. Let's get some more health. I'm sorry, sheep, but I need your souls. Right, so let's go for those sheep. Now, the trouble with this is... Oof. That doesn't help you out as much as you'd think it would. Yeah. You bastard. You can die. Run, Spyro! Oof. Now, it's not the supercharge that we need. Oh, God. It's that fairy there. She holds the power that we need. <sighs> she gives us a good old snog. And that charges us up. This turns us into Super Spyro. We can still get hurt, but our flames can destroy just about anything. And it's glorious. But we do have to be quick. Do have to be quick with it, but we can always go back and get as much as we need. So bear that in mind. Uh, and talking of that, let's go get healed up because these spiders, man. If you're not careful. Oh, nice. There's a life. Sweet. Yeah, these spiders really can fuck you over. Yeah, that they, they. I think they've patched the frequency of those blue. Uh, Butterflies, because no way, man. No way. They they were never this frequent. I'm sure of it. That's crazy. 
It's almost like there's a one in five chance or something. Right. Thanks for the sugar, love. Let's go. Now, unfortunately... Oh, God. Oh, I'm lost. How do I get lost in here? Well, that was bollocks. Actually, thinking of getting lost... Right, you're dead. I have a feeling... But there might. No, there's not another fairy, is there? What it is. So we might need the super jump. Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not getting down here with a fairy, I don't think. Yeah, he's the last one there. You. Git. You ugly. Horrible git. Right, okay. So he's the last one. Um, now. Best, most efficient way of doing it might actually be the super jump. Because that doesn't run out until you hit a wall. So, oof. But I don't know how we get down there. Ah, right, okay, that's good. Alright, well, I mean, this works, I guess. I swear this is, oh shit, I swear that's easier to control on the Xbox. Hmm. Maybe it's just my analog stick on my Switch is dodgy. I mean, who's ever heard of that? A dodgy analog stick on a switch? <laughs> no. Right. Let's try that again. Yeah, oh my god, but you can't turn like this on my switch's analog stick. That took me ages. That's really bloody interesting. Alright, well, arachnophobe unlocked. So, we have a few more gems to collect and then it's gravy baby i think the yeah there's like a way up here somewhere there's another route i can hear a sheep which means sparks i hope you're hungry yay right okay cool there we go so there's a little bit of a secret area here i say secret loosely it's not really a secret that should be the last one yes Job done, ladies and gentlemen. Job done. And there's our friendly fairy up there. Okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, we can go this way. Of course we can go this way. We know we can go this way. We just come this way. What are you? Simple? Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, right, we just jump over there. Yep. Oh, you know what? Also here. Let's see if these guys have got blue. Have you guys got blue? Are you blue? You're not blue. No blue. Bitches like blue. Oh, there we go. Let's get out of here. We are. We've 100% of the area. Nice. Let's go. Not bad. We're making some good progress here. Definitely could be a little bit quicker, but we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've got about 30% of the treasure back. Hmm. Wow, 38 minutes. Jesus. And the fan on the Xbox One X is like barely doing anything at all. Like the slightest trickle of air coming out of it. It's not even warm. You know, the Xbox One X is probably one of my yeah, probably one of my favourite consoles of all time. Just, you know, I always thought it was amazing how powerful Microsoft made the system and just how quiet it is as well. It's silent. I think it looks really nice as well, that black monolithic look to it. Anyway, enough about that. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. When we come back, we're obviously going to continue and hopefully we are... Oh, God, we've got the flight level, haven't we? Yeah, we've got the flight level to do, and we've got the boss, and one more, yeah, we've got one more normal level as well, I think, yeah, because there's six in each one, you've got the main hub, and then five levels, of which of those five levels, you've got three normal levels, one flight level, and a boss, so, yeah, when we come back, guys, we're going to handle that, so, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.